came out 31, I had a question coming out of section 8.1, number 45. And here we were asked to graph an ellipse and they asked us specifically for the center, the vertices, and the foci. So let me just keep a list going of the traits that I need to find. And I, I'm not, I don't, I wasn't given the equation in standard form. So I need, I need to get it into standard form and I'm going to complete a square. So I'm going to group the X variables together and the Y variables together and move the constant to the right side of the equation. And that's what you see me doing here. And in order for this completing the square to work, your lead coefficients in front of the squared terms need to be positive. And right now they're respectively four and four. So I need to factor those out. And that's what you see me doing at this stage. I'm factoring out the four from both of my X terms and I'm factoring out the four from both of my Y terms. And just as a little side note, um, let me do a different color. Because this is a four and this is a four, because those are the, ugh, because those are the same numbers, this isn't an ellipse, this is actually a circle. So whenever the coefficient in front of your x squared term and the coefficient in front of your y squared term are the same, it's no longer an ellipse, it's technically a circle. All right, so moving on from there, once you factor that out, you wanna make this a perfect square trinomial. And you do that by taking half of the linear term, which is two, or I should say half of the coefficient in front of the linear term, and that's the number four, half of four is positive two, and then you square that number. So once I do half of four, which is positive two, I'm gonna square it and I'm gonna add four here. Same deal here, right? Half of four is positive two, two squared is four. And usually if we add four and add four to the left side of the equation, we balance it by adding four and four on the right side of the equation. But you have to remember in this case, oops, I erased too much. In this case, you didn't just add four, you added four times four, which is 16, and you added a four times four, which is 16 here. So really, you can see me on this side adding two 16s to balance that equation out. So that's the reason that these numbers are 16 and not fours, because we had a four getting multiplied by four, and another four getting multiplied by a four. All right, now these two trinomials are perfect squares. That's by design. That's what completing a square means. So x squared plus 4x plus 4 is x plus 2 squared, and y squared plus 4y plus 4 is y plus 2 squared. So I've got my perfect squares. I'm looking good there, but on the right side of the equation, we have this number 16, and we want it to be equal to 1, so we need to divide every term by 16, and that's what you see me doing at this stage. All right, and then it's simplifying these, right? So once I simplify four over 16, I've got my x plus two squared over four, y plus two squared over four equaling one. And from there, you can almost see a and b, but again, I, wanna, I want you to note that because these numbers are the same, there's no larger number, right? We've always said for ellipses, a squared was always the larger number, but there is no larger number. A squared equals B squared, which is equal to four. So in this case, A and B are both two. And really, that's really saying the radius of this thing is two. If you look at the center here, which is one of the things we were asked to find, you can see that the center is negative, whoa, is negative two, negative two. And if I was to graph that, negative two, negative two, I mean, if you want to get the circle, go two units in either direction. Go up two, right to, left to, down to, and you have a circle. Ooh, that one shaded in all nicely. Wow, I don't know if I can make that hollow. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Hold up, style, this is gonna get, hmm, maybe I do fill, none, nailed it. Okay, there it is. Um, so there's my circle uh, that I have going on here. Now let's let's finish off what they asked of us. So I got the center, right, we took care of that. In terms of the vertices, well, I would simply, not simply, I would, add, I would add two to all of these coordinates, right? So if you see me doing that, I've got my, my plus or minus two I'm doing off of the x coordinate and my plus or minus two I'm doing off of the y coordinate, or, or we could have just counted these points, right? This is the point negative two, zero. This is the point zero, negative two. This is the point negative two, negative four. And finally, this is the point negative four, negative two. And that's what you see me rolling with here. Now, it also asks you for foci. Uh, there aren't any foci. It's just the center 
All right, that's that's one of the things about circles. There aren't any foci because you just have that one middle point that you're looking at. So if I wanted to graph it, there's my graph. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.